Yay, can you guys see me? I, if you say the pillar, I think you have a picture before I can see I'm on. <laughs> the pillar. This is pillar number two. I liked it so much. I was kind of sorry I sold it last week, so I made another one yesterday. Similar, but a little different. Yay. I can't see myself. What the hell? Hang on. Let me try to refresh my screen here and see if I can get past my circling blue. I like to try to watch my camera software and what you guys are seeing so I know uh, I can kind of judge the lag by that. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Now I'm watching an ad. Okay, cool. All right, you guys are, are seeing me. I'm not seeing me yet, but I'm here. Um, I thought I'd just get it going a couple minutes early since we had so many people waiting in, uh, online. Um, I know I went to the turquoise nail polish again. We went to a bull roast this afternoon and my shirt was exactly the same color again. Seems like everything I'm picking up lately has this color on it. Well, we're here to cure your migraine, Anna. Hopefully, or give you one. I don't know. Hopefully not. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys see this. It's Everybody was saying like, what is it? It's a canvas, a stretched canvas inside. It's just kind of, I can't get the camera far enough to show you. It's like triangular shaped, right? So you can hang it on the wall. Like if my desk was the wall, you can hang it on the wall this way or sideways. What I think I'm going to do is make a bigger one and hang it low on the wall so it is over top of an electric outlet and put Christmas lights in here and punch holes so the light comes out of each one of these circles here and over here and kind of tape them to the top so it kind of, they kind of glow underneath here like for a night light. I think I'm going to try it. If I do, I'll post pictures of it. They're really cool, Anna. I, they're so different, and they're hard to find. Hello, Blissful. Thanks for joining. Scones. Somebody eating scones? <laughs> Yeah, I think it'll look kind of neat because when you, when I hold this up at the light, well, when it's a bare canvas, you can see some glow out of it. So I'm thinking you still could, even with the, the papers that I collaged on and, and the paint, I think it'll still, um, I think it'll still show something. We'll see. Hi, Jeannie. Good. I'm glad you're here too. Hi, Pamela. We have live chat. Yeah, so it's 7 o'clock officially, so I'm just going to start rolling. Um, so, yeah, I wanted just to open up and show you guys this. So many, I got so many questions like, what is that? Where did you get it? What is it? How does it look? But it's a regular canvas. I'll, um, I'll show it again later when other people get online. Um, but anyway, that's the second one I made. The first one I made at our stamp camp last weekend, was it? And... Um, the cook that was there for us kept bugging me and bugging me and I finally sold it to him. Bless his heart. Yeah, Susan, that's what I was thinking. If it just, you know, looked like a nightlight kind of thing, you know? Hey, Jamie. Oh, it's your mom. Mother and daughter. Yay. Two generations of crazy. Gotta love it. So tonight, I thought what I was going to do is a little canvas board. Um, I did a little bit of my pitiful sketching on here to kind of give me an idea of the layout. My friend at work, hey Eileen, my uh, friend at work is getting married and um, I wanted to do, I've seen somebody on YouTube, I think it's Cindy Lou Who. Um, 
does these really cool canvases with a lot of metal and stuff on them and using Lindy's and I kind of want to combine that with what I did with my hot glue on the one canvas I did some time ago with the hot glue snaky things and metal and this is their picture so I kind of like eyeballed where I'm going to put the picture to keep that clear until I start building my layers but I think I'm going to cut some of that off actually because I think I don't know the picture might be too big I think I'm going to I'm going to hack, hack them up already but I kind of have a vision in my head <sighs> Ugh, which never really serves me well I know Eileen snazzy huh I'm going to cut some of this off. Bye-bye, people on the pier. I should probably take the whole pier so it looks like they're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, crap. And, of course, I had my second blade in the way. Good Lord. Off to a rocking start here, people. Hang on. I had my two little cutters in the way, and it didn't go all the way down. Got my new Tim Holtz big scissors. Love them. So I might take a little bit off the other side so they're kind of centered. Let's see. Maybe right about there. And let me not be stupid twice in a row. <laughs> I hate that. Okay, that's a little bit better maybe for size. It's one of those um, uh, um, OPI gel polishes and it's Oh, I think it's number 108. They don't, they're not named. I think it's number 108. So I'm going to try to, um, let me adjust myself here and adjust my line. These lines hopefully will get covered up with all the crap that's going to be added on here. Hey, Sonia. Thanks for joining. Make another little line here. And then I'll just ignore that and maybe bring these up here closer. Oh, Lord, I'm already hosed up. Okay. Oh, here's another thing I was going to show you guys. When I was at Stamp Camp, I made some folders for my op my office, my cube at work. I have a bunch of them in there. But this is kind of, um, this is in honor of my dear friend, Ellen Vargo. Um, hey, Ladane. Hey, Jean. Um, and kind of her style and use some of her stamps and my stencils. Um... And they came out really cool. I really like them. So this is my stencil, this, the 8x10 and the 6-inch of the same one. And then I put the little dots on them like Ellen puts on everything. And this is some of her stamps I collaged on with deli paper on the back. And then her, see her rectangular stamp here with kind of light colors of ink. Can you see that? It's all over. The ink kind of shifts from tones of the pink and orange that make up the folder. So I did that one. Oop, there goes all my Lindy's. I just plowed over. And here's another one that I did. You can see her little square stamp all over that. And by the way, she just posted on Facebook and I shared her picture. She's got two more sets of stamps coming out, textures. Um, really cool. One set is, I don't know what they're called. They're numbered, I think. I don't think they're called a name. And um, they're all kind of linear. And then the other one, they're mostly round uh, images. Really cool texture stuff. Um, Jean, I'm one step closer to getting you your deli paper. I actually have the box sitting by the door. I just have to find a box to put the box in to ship it the right size, and then I'll get it on its way. Um, but anyway, I made that one. And that's the infinity stamp, both sizes, the small one and then the large one. And I did this one. I'm not too wild about this one. It's okay. I think the colors are just okay. But I used Ellen Circle stamp in my little, my little design that I do. Um, good Lord, I'm getting hot glue on my folders. Dripping out of my gun. I hear you, Sonia. Oh, Lord. This one was kind of a fail. I'll show you that one, too. I love the purple and teal. And the white on it was eh, okay, but then I thought it needs more of black, so I started to try to outline it in the stencils. And my hand was all over the place, and I thought, ah, crap, messed that one up. But I'll do something with it, but that's not, that's kind of a eh, okay. 
I do like this one. Of course, it's purple and teal again. Um, and then Ellen's rectangular stamp all over the background. And then my stencil, kind of front and back, and then little dots on it. Ellen's into doing these dots, and I just love the, the look that it gives. Um, this is another one of my stencils and her kind of surfboard shaped pod stamp. And this is another one of her stamps that I stencil, I collaged on. And then I did my um, dangles, collaged a little one of her stamps over there. These are her stamps collaged on and the little dangles back there. And this one I did when I was at her house one day, we were playing and um, you can see that. I love this rectangle scratch. That's that's my favorite set. Those scratchy stamps, scratchy images are freaking awesome. Got to do something on the tab though. I just decided, I just started doing the tabs when I saw how she was doing hers. Because I used to black gesso all this on my other ones that I have at work. And then write on them with a white pen. And they kind of pop. But anyway, there you go. Just another something I wanted to show you guys. Get them out of the way. And let's get started, shall we? <laughs> I got two or three hours here to see what I can hose up. So I think we're going to start with some hot glue on this canvas. Um, let me get another stick over here. And um, you that babies. That's why they call it hot glue. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to turn this so I can get to it a little bit easier. But I just want to add... I think I have to put these in first, don't I? Yeah, I probably should. They're going to stick better. And then I can gesso over them. Okay, talking through it out loud. <laughs> so, um, hello, somebody else just joined. Oh, I can't remember the name. Concerned Al. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. I know I know you. Oh, yeah, that's circles and lines. See, there you go. One's linear and one's round. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, Jean, thank you. I saw your um, the video you uploaded using my stencils on your jelly plate. Suzanne. Hello, dear. Hey, Sandy. Merle. Yay. All right, I'm going to look away from the screen a minute so I can get this baby going. So I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to do it. Let's go. I'm going to put a blob of hot glue here. And then I'm going to put some little squiggly, wiggly lines. Stop. All right, we'll just go off the page. How about that? Lord. Um, and I'm going to do another one. I just want these to be kind of organic. I don't know what I'm going for here exactly. Not an octopus. <laughs> Not the way I was going to go. All right. That does kind of look octopus-ish, doesn't it? Well, we'll see. Jellyfish, more like, right? All right. And these, um, I'm going to use Lindy's on this. And this will help catch some of the ink will puddle in there. And, um, um, gather up in there so I will um, get more dense color there and less as it comes out of those little legs whatever they are tentacles I gotta watch how I say that when I'm talking about calamari tentacles I always say testicles <laughs> oh and here we are 10 minutes in and we're talking about testicles great um yeah well, that's a little screw up there but I'll just Oh, there we go. It came off. Not too much lost on that one. And give me another one over here, because I think I should have three. 
I'm not so good at this, I can tell you. Um, I'm trying to remember. Contadina K. Do you guys follow her on YouTube? Contadina K and the letter K. She is where I got this um, technique from with the hot glue. Mine looks like you know, beginner hot glue. Hers is so controlled and so um, good that um, it makes this kind of look a little pitiful. But, you know, that's what we got to work with. So that's what we're going to do. Get these little hairy things out of here, maybe. Okay, I'm going to unplug my glue gun. And... I'm going to fan this to let this cool off because now I'm going to gesso everything, including the hot glue. You know, I feel like here there should be a little something. I'm going to wait and add that later. I don't want to get too crazy. Hey, Mary. Thanks for joining. Vivian, yes. She's really, really good work. Really great stuff that she does and really good uh, YouTubes. Uh, that she's got online. You guys should check out her channel if you haven't. Oh, that makes me remember that I want to enable my links. So if you guys want to share a link for your blog or somebody else's blog or a product or whatever, um, you can now do that. I just enabled the links. So, oh, now I'm watching an ad myself. Great. Okay. So I'm going to take some gesso and I'm just going to go over the hole. Oh, look. Sweet Mary. Still hot. You boob. Well, we're going to call that texture. Now my octopus has a nipple on it. Great. I'm going to push that down and actually maybe put a little blob on top of that. Just a little bit. Huh, I'm better left-handed than I am right-handed. Who knew? Hey, Darcy. And this may never see the, the happy couple. <laughs> Depends on how it comes out. They may or they may not get this. But if it doesn't work out, it's a practice run, and I'll learn something from it. Maybe learn what not to do, but that's just as important. Let's see. Oh, that feels a little teeny bit warm. I'm going to gesso around it for now. Let's get a coat of gesso on the this board. Of course, now I'm covering my lines. I so conveniently drew them there to guide myself, but I think I'll see it that through the gesso. I do, I do. I'm not going to be able to watch the chat much tonight, so if you guys have a question, make sure somebody screams at me. Oh, great, Eileen. Thanks for putting her link out there. I did just peek. Uh, design opportunities. I like that, Pam. Mm-hmm. That's what we're going to call this. Maybe I'll like it so much I'll cover up their picture and put one of me and Dave out there. <laughs> no, just kidding, Casey, if you're watching. Just kidding, honey. Hmm. All right. I think this should be... Yeah, that's cool enough now for some gesso. All right. I'm just going to gesso right over the hot glue. So it looks like I have white worms laying on my page now. I can still see my pencil. That's good for now. Won't be so good later when I don't want it to show. Might have to throw a little paint in there at some point instead of just the Lindy's. Okay. That's going to be enough for now. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and I'm gonna just heat gun in honor of Paula from afar. Just let the breeze blow over this because I don't want to reheat the hot glue. Get that baby too hot. Not good. Yeah, she's got a lot of really good videos out there, Pam. Oh, that does kind of look like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like an octopus now. Great. Hey, Nat. Thanks for joining. All right. I'm kind of uh, thinking as I go with this. Um... I think once I get this gesso down, I'm going to start hot glue, um, or gluing on, maybe hot glue. I don't know if I want to do hot glue or blue glue. I might use blue glue. Actually, hot glue would probably cool quicker or dry quicker than using like E6000 or something like that. But I want to put down some clusters of um, some metal pieces, maybe a key, some gears, some washers some whatever I happen to have in there that I think will look cool. So Casey and her fiance's wedding colors are yellow and gray. So, um, and with this photo with all this blue in it, I think it'll be a really cool pop on there against the yellow and I have some I don't have gray but I have some silver and different shades of orangey yellows and golds and yellow and even a darker one up moon shadow one that's called gossamer gold so I'll start in the center with that and then work out to the lighter colors I think All right, there's some of a little bit of that pulled up around here, and it's a little bit wet still, but that's good enough for now. What's the dig bill? It is. Um, you know, it does have some fumes, warning harmful vapor, eh, right on the front. Um, but is it is industrial strength, and when you glue with this puppy, ain't too much coming off of there, I can tell you. So let me grab my oh, box up stuff my metal goodies over here move this I do want one of these keys I think I'll use a silver one um, a silver one I love these steampunk keys with the little wings on them and the little clock in the center I put those on my planners well I've done two so it is plural but sounds like I do a lot of them but not yet Okay, I'm going to put Casey's picture over on my keyboard, so hopefully I won't mung that up. And let's see what else we got here. Uh, maybe a little, some of these little metal flowers. This is going to be kind of reminiscent of my, I'm going to show you this. I took a class with them. Um, Finnebear. Um. And we did this book, and that 3D pile of stuff is kind of what I want to mimic on the canvas. Oh, those things too. Those were, I like those. I'm going to pull those out. Oh, it's all coming back to me now on the back. Just see, it's gears, flowers, all kind of stuff. Keys, wings. All these little clippy things. I want some of these on there, too. I love those. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going for-ish. Um, where the hell did I put those, I wonder? Here's a couple little loose ones that are no longer sticky that I had back here on my little shelf. But I have them someplace safe, apparently. Oh, yeah, well... Let me just get some stuff out here and start throwing some stuff down. Oops, got one falling apart already. High quality. 
couple of those maybe. That one's falling apart. Maybe I'll use the pieces and just get rid of that. How about that? Um, what's in here? I got some of these different things on Etsy just because they seem like the thing to do. I don't know which way that goes, but I don't think it much matters. Um, these are just kind of discs with textures in them. Oh, what kind of journal covers are you guys going to make? I mean, just, is it like a... Um, a book you're making from scratch or like doing a moleskin and altering it or okay there's some little flowers flowers oh here's angel wings I don't think they need the bee or the queen's crown but I'll put the wings in there I like angel wings that seems like it should be good luck doesn't it Come on, get out of there. I'm telling you, this is a pain in the butt. Some of these already have the adhesive on them. Um, well, let me move those because I've looked at that eight times already. <laughs> Got a key. Here's some of my leftover stuff from Finnabar's class. So I will bring that out. Um, and here's some of her, um, the Prima Finnabar brand mechanicals. Some of her little bits in there. I'm going to use some of that. These are packed much more nicely than the other ones that are like impossible to get the hell out of the packages. I don't think I'll use all of these, but they don't need to go back in the packaging, that's for sure. And I love these little clips. I got these at Michael's. They're square triangles and circles. So, maybe a couple of those. I'll take the silver ones so they're, they'll color up a little bit better. There we go. Of course, I like the circle ones best. All right. What else? That won't work. that says secret. Probably not a good way to start a marriage. Oh, what's these little bits say? Encourage your hopes, not your fears. Nah, let's pass on that one. These are little keys, little fans, little discs. This is that stuff. Anchors. Bigger anchors. I'll use that. What the hell are they? I bought birds. Oh, it's a, I don't know what that is. It's a woman with wings, but she doesn't look angelic. <laughs> I think something just bit my leg. Maybe another key. That might be too big to put in there. I don't really need those or those. Oh, here's one of these light bulb things that say love. I'll probably put that on somewhere. That seems appropriate. I don't know what that is, but if it is now appropriate, deemed by me. Okay. I'm not seeing any of these little signs, sayings that are living the moment. The journey awakens the soul. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> oh, heart. The uh, little key that says heart. That might be a good one. Live the life you imagined. Inspirational, yet not really that appropriate. Well, oh, I like this key. All right. Do something like that. Okay. All right. Good enough. Let's see if I can do something with that. And then I have um, 
I got these gray flowers when I was at Queen's Inc. the other day. is going to be a fiasco. I can see it coming. Here's some silver flowers and some white ones that I can spray, maybe. Okay. Who's snorting? I just looked up and saw snorts. <laughs> oh, there's a Wendy Vecchi. Wendy Vecchi was actually in my class when we did um, the Finnebear thing. At Queen's Inc., she was in my class. She came in for her for the class with Finnebear and sat at my table, actually, and gave me some of her art parts while she was there. Very nice of her. Some Roman numerals. What else is in here? Bottle cap. Flower. I have... Um, Oh, XO. Maybe I can do XO. I was looking for love, but ha, looking for love in all the wrong places. Maybe I'll do XOXO on there. Oops. Little O's. Oh, a little O and a little X. And a big X. There we go. Get rid of that V. That V. All right clear some of this stuff up. So what, what I got going here right now is a mess. And uh, I'll just try to figure it out as I go. I got no idea on composition. So um, yeah. So here we are. This is what I'm thinking. So I want to build around their picture. So um, Gene, I'm with you. I don't know what the conversation is, but I agree. I hate gardening. Too freaking hot out there. It was 82 degrees today. I thought I was going to croak. We're not even into summer. Okay. So, I wonder if I have a little bit that would fit in the center of that. Perhaps this, maybe? Oh, that might go in there. I'm just going to lay stuff out there and see what I come up with. Um, okay. Some flat stuff. Where's my other wing? Wings, angel wings. I should put them. Where should I put the angel wings? Of course, they're both going the same direction. Great. So they might have to look like... I don't know. Just throwing it out there right now. The heart key. Maybe put that here. <laughs> this little coil thing's kind of cool. Will that build up on there or on there maybe? Not a whole lot to stick on there. Stone or clay. I have glass cabochons that I made my lamp work stuff, but I don't think I want to put them on there. Oh, this adds in the way of my screen. I thought I was off. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Maybe I can, like, kind of stack those like that a little bit. And maybe put another one somewhere over here. Maybe. What's in here? Little keys. I don't know if we got to do more keys. Let's try another flower or two. You know what I'm going to do? 
I'm going to put my Venabar book back there so I can kind of look and remember kind of some of the things we did. Kind of, sort of. I don't, do I have any brads? There's a couple little. Hey, Genevieve. Oh, here we go. <laughs> or am I seeing things? Wait a minute. I saw a Brad in here. And it's not Brad Pitt. Huh, hang on a minute. I know I had a couple of Brads. Where the hell did I put them? Where are you? My little Brad. Oh, you know what? They might be in my metal box. Ah, how logical would that be? Aha! Got him. You can run, but you can't hide, people. All right, let me grab a few of those. See what I can layer up with these, because a lot of these Finnebear things have um, have holes in them. And uh, I remember in the class we kind of stacked. Um, Some of the bits together. Sue, so, hey Lisa. Uh, let's see what I can do with that. So there's, yeah. these two pieces are together. Well, that too big. That's got a hole in it. That'll go in there. Anything smaller on top of that? That won't. A brad won't hold that. That'll cover too much. Maybe this little thing. Oh, I put, um, you guys probably saw it if you're Facebook friends, a bunch of um, new wine totes and n my jelly note cards and envelopes um, that I make out on um, my Etsy shop. And watch this be too big to go through here. Ugh. Come on. Oh, there's through one. Let's do it the easy way. Oh, that one's a little tight. Oh, you rascal, you. Mm. Do I have anything else that size? There's that piece. Maybe go that way. Or this way. That works. Those are kind of big. Whoop, get in there, baby. Okay. So we'll do that for that one. I'll stick those together with the brad. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's some a lot of texture and stuff in there. Stuff. Texture stuff. Let's put that there. It's kind of silly to cover that up. I do like this spiral though. Where do we put this? Maybe I'll put that over top of the corner of the picture when we get it down. Um, that one doesn't have a hole in it. Um, that does, but it, they're kind of cool on their own. Let me see if I can knock the glue out of that one because it fell apart. Anywho, sorry guys, I'm not really participating in the um, stream much tonight, but I'm got all my concentration powers working here. Um, hang on, I need, a, I need a tool. What the hell am I knocking into with my little spinny thing here? Let's try to see if I can get that out of there. 
No, but I was able to poke a hole through it. That'll work. No, no, no. Try that. And I, now that's the one that was too small, wasn't it? Think, girl, think. Bottle cap, too big, covering it up. Or we do a bottle cap over that and then put something in the bottle cap. Maybe another one of these. That's what I'm thinking. It was really pretty here. Actually, upstairs we have the windows all open and the fans going. But it last time I looked, it was 70 degrees in the house. And I can tell you right now, that shit ain't going to fly when big girl goes to bed. <laughs> oh, lordy. I will be croaking up there with hot flashes. I don't know if I'm going to go. Maybe go that way so I get more height. But the brad's not long enough. Oh, I'll bend this up. And then it won't glue. <laughs> so many options. So little sense. Christ. Oh, maybe I can put that on there. That's not bad. And maybe now. Nope, nope. I'm going to lose it again. All right, let's do that. I got another brad. I'll shove this one through there. There we go. Now, some of the things that she did, she, Finnebear, um, was to, um, she took her flowers, and I don't think I have any more large ones. Ugh. But she took her flowers, and she said she doesn't always use them as flowers, but she'll rip them apart. And, like, take this center bud out of this. And apparently I'm not strong enough to rip paper. What the hell? All right. Should have had my damn Wheaties this morning. All right. There we go. Good enough. And then she'll put... Um, Maybe let's put a hole in here without having to go to the emergency room. Let's try that first, shall we? And then she puts, let's lose those two leaves. They're just going to be a pain in my butt. You can see it coming, people. And then maybe put the bottle cap in here. And again, these little things. That's going to be the theme, I think, are these little things I got. So... And my other Brad. So let's try this. Well, is this one bigger? Oh, there goes the ice cream man. Can you hear the the bell? Ice cream man's coming. Tis the season, I suppose. That doesn't need to be there. That won't be seen. And then, where'd my hole go? Oops, that's not it. Bent my brad. Crap. There we go. And I'm just going to put these together through. Oh, crap. Fell apart. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's what we used to say as kids running down the street following ice cream man. Wait a minute. Sheesh, there we go, finally. So, see, she kind of puts the bigger petals around some of the metal stuff on the flower. So that one's a little crooked. Yeah, we'll call it character. How about that? So this one, that hole's kind of small. I don't know if a Brad's going to make it in there or not. And yeah, maybe not. Okay, maybe I should just start gluing crap down. I'm looking on here to see what else I used last time. Oh, yeah, we had all kind of little mosaic glass things. Eh, crap. We had all kind of cool stuff I don't have anymore. 